Hello YouTube, it's Monday, uh, the 8th of May, it's warm out here, it's supposed to hit maybe 80 degrees, chance of rain this evening, really humid, <coughs> so excuse my voice, it is thick out here, okay, back to subject, this is Ford Twin I-Beam, okay, see the coil spring, there's your straight axle, now in the old days you had leaf springs, okay, but on a Ford, see that pivot point right there, that's the other side. So these go over like that. See how this one comes over? And there's your bolt where it pivots, okay? So they're independent I-beams, okay? Get up here close. There's not a lot of videos on these on kingpins. Found more on semi trucks, okay? See this bolt? That is like a taper pin that locks your pin. You have a pin that goes all the way through here, okay? Then this has a bushing, and this has a bushing, all right? There's a pin in here. Well, these are Oregon. Less than 20,000 miles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold the camera straight. Can you see any wobble, what I'm trying to show you there? I get this bar under here. Let me get back away, Just watch the whole tire. Here, let me turn it this way. Bear with me. I think you get the idea. Okay. Now I use plastic ones. They make metal ones. We have to have a, a pusher, puller, you know, tool, you know, like when you push in a, a different stuff, you know, a bushing. It's a bushing driver. There you go. Bushing driver. Well, I got the plastic ones. They, they bragged how good the plastic ones were. Uh, they press in real easy to this part and then this part here. Okay, like I said, this pin is locked in here. So, that is a bearing. Okay, that's where it's silver. And then you got shims on the top. So you have to take the slop out of it when you put this together. <clears throat> Which means, you gotta take off the wheel, your disc brake rotor, this has disc brakes, disc brake caliper, take all it off while you got left suspension, which doesn't take too long. You don't have to, but it makes it a lot easier and lighter. If you just go ahead and take the rotor off, that way you can check your wheel bearings. Reason. Just take it off so you just got the spindle in your hand. If I do this job, I'll make a video of it. So, hope you get an idea. Let's try to hold the camera real steady. See, every time I move, the, I'm moving everything else. Maybe you can see it here. Let me try to do it this way. We're all on the fly here. Bear with me. I'm sure you can see the wobble in there now. Okay, we're gonna, <clears throat> excuse me. Like I said, I need to take another cold drink with some ice. Okay, we're going to review this video and see if it's worth posting. Okay, one more try at this. I'm sure you can see it wobble now. You can hear it clunk. Because we've got some shimmying in the front end. You get on a good road, you don't notice. You get on a bad, bumpy road, and it's like the front end shaking on me. So we got rid of the tire balance problem. We still may go in and check out these front tires checked again. But if this side's bad, the other side's bad, I'm going to replace both sides. You get it as a kit. So I wish I had the old kit. I used to have in the box. I can show you exactly what the parts look like. But we'll see if we make a video. If we make a video on it, you'll see how it's done. <laughs> 